Welcome back to day two of uh, the UAE Heritage and Cultural Identity Work Program Conference, uh, World Heritage Convention at 50 Conference. Today we are in day two of our three-day event. And before I move on, I will call in my co-director to ha have a few words before we proceed with the program. Mohammed. Mohammed. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. Is it my time? Hello. Is it my time? Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, and uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, distinguished guests and uh, colleagues. Happy International Mother Language Day. I am Dr. Mohammed Habib Raja, co-director of the. Heritage and Cultural Identity Work Program of the International Union of Ar Architects. Today, I'm delighted to be here with you to begin the second day of the 50th anniversary uh, conference of the UNESCO World Heritage Convention. The theme of the conference, as said by our team, the next 50 World Heritage as a source of resilience, humanity, and innovation. This is an appropriate theme as it encapsulates the immense value of World Heritage sites which are the tangible and intangible symbols of our collective heritage and identity. They are a source of resilience in the face of challenges, a reminder of our shared humanity and a platform for innovative approaches to protect our and promote our shared heritage. Today, we will discuss the importance of world heritage sites and explore new ways to ensure their protection and conservation. We will look at the public approach to site management, which includes the technology and suitable tourism to ensure the converse, conservation of those sites for future generations. We have some of the world's leading experts on the subject today, and I look forward to hearing their insight on how we can work together to protect our shared heritage. Uh, thank you. Now I am requesting my uh, co-director Dr. Kasim Momor, who was the key role of this conference uh, to talk uh, more and take charge to pass to Marla, I think. Thank you. Kasim is, is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mohammed. Uh, now to move on, I would wish to give the floor to our Secretary General. Madam Payne to say her welcoming. Hello, uh, Honorable Panila Manunza, OGW, Cabinet Secretary for Tur Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage for Kenya, uh, UIA President Hossein Luis Cortez, distinguished moderator and presenters, fellow colleagues and friends. My warmest greetings from the International Union of Architects. I'm Dan Payne, the UIA Secretary General. And it is my great honor to be given this opportunity to address all of you. On behalf of the UIA, we would like to express our greatest gratitude towards the Honorable Panila Manonza for taking part in this convention as our guest of honor. This session marked the second day of the Three Days Heritage World Convention, which served as a tribute to the adoptions of the World Heritage Convention. It is also part of the series of initiatives organized by the Heritage and Cultural Identity Work Program and the UIA, led by the co-director Mohammad Habib Reza and Kasim Mumba Omar, to stimulate discussions of the important roles played by our heritage and culture in contributing to the UN 17 SDGs, leading to the UIA next key milestones, that is the UIA Copenhagen World Congress, that will be held in July 2023 with the team Sustainable Futures, Leaving No One Behind. He also aims to highlight the significance of their crucial roles in planning the resilient future of our planet against the crisis and challenges they are awaiting and to promote better understanding so as to develop the necessary skills to combat climate change and climate-induced disasters. We have heard the very stimulating presentations from the experts from Region 1 yesterday, and today's presentation will be by the experts from Region 3 and 5. I will again encourage all of you to actively participate in the exchange of ideas with our esteemed speakers and presenters <coughs> to maximize the benefits of this convention 
and jointly chart a sustainable and resilient cost of our planet's cultural and natural heritage for the next half century. Now, I would like to invite our president of the UIA, Jose Luis Cortes, to say a few words. President Jose. Thank you, Payne. Thank you. Well, on the name of the International Union of Architects, I want to give the warm greetings to all the participants to this webinar. Welcome all the high officials from Kenya and different countries. And I want to congratulate Payne, that is the General Secretary, because she is the coordinator of all the working groups. And to co congratulate all the the two co-directors of this working group on cultural and heritage, is the Mr. Mohamed Habib and Mr. Kasim Mwamba. It's a, it is a great pleasure for me to be with you. As you know, uh, the, this convention about world heritage uh, uh, is very important. It's, uh, uh, in our times, you know, it's difficult to convince all the developers, all the constructors, all the architects and planners, you know, to save our heritage. You know, since uh, UIA was created 75 years ago, we were together with UNESCO. And the reason why we were together since the beginning was because UIA was created after the Second World War and a lot of heritage was lost in many cities during the Second World War. So uh, the society said, where are the artists? We need the artists to protect our heritage. And that's why uh, UNESCO and UIA have been together for these 75 years, trying to protect as much as possible. But as I said before, many of the developers and constructors don't believe that this is so important for the world. And I implore you know, all the architects that they can build good architecture, contemporary architecture, but not destroy what we have been heritage from our ancestors. Please, you, you, you can renovate, you can reconstruct, you can uh, re redevelop you know, all the buildings that we have in our cities without destroying them. Uh, there is, uh, there are many uh, experts on this issue that we have to pay attention and to respect them. So if you need help, just ask for the uh, different people that have been developing expertise on this matter. And uh, UIA is always able to support you whenever in your city have something that you consider that we have to keep. And, uh, is, uh, it is important, you know, the uh, renovation of our, our historical centers, and it is important the reconstruction of many areas that have been abandoned. So I wish that during this convention, all of you can give good ideas of how we can keep a better world without destroying what is ex in existence. Thank you very much and good luck during these days. Thank you. Congratulations to everybody. Warm greetings to everybody. Uh, uh, mute, uh, uh, Okay, sorry. Thank you, President Jose, for your kind remarks. Now I have the pleasure of introducing our guest of honor, the Honorable Panina Manunza, OGW, Cabinet Secretary for Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage for Kenya. She obtained her Bachelor of Arts degree in Anthropology and her Master's degree in Project Planning and Management from the University of Nairobi, which is she's currently pursuing a Master's degree in Public Health. She also undertook a course in Economic Recovery Models at Kwan Woon University, Samuel Academy, followed by a course in Community Leadership, Mass Level 2 at the Global University, United States. She has a diploma in Psychological Counseling and is a member of the Kenya Association of Professional Counselors. From 2002 to 2006, Honorable Panila served as a project director at Changombi Baptist Church. She later served in various roles at Compassion International Kenya, rising to the level of partner training and support as senior director from 2006 to 2013. From 2013 to 2017, 
She also served as deputy governor of Kitwe County. In 2015, she was conferred with the Order of Grand Warrior, OGW, by President Uhuru Kenyatta. I would like to invite the Honourable Panila to deliver her address. <laughs> 